Well, adult female acne is such a common problem, and many of us have used spironolactone for a long time, and we've been really fortunate in the last couple of years. There have been some new articles published that look at some of the big risks of spironolactone, and those are potassium. Do we need to be checking blood work for hyperkalemia? And the other is about breast cancer risk. So hyperkalemia, that article was published in March of this year. Uh, it's a retrospective re review that looks at young, healthy people who've been treated for acne with spironolactone. And the conclusion of the study was, in those young, healthy people being treated for acne with spironolactone, we don't need to be checking a potassium level. So that's something new, and I think it really uh, gives us confidence now when we're using spironolactone to not have to be wondering, do I need to do this lab work? How often do I need to do it? We just don't need to be doing it at all. The other risk that we always talk about is, so there's this black box warning with spironolactone that says in rats, given high doses, the drug can cause tumors. But does that translate? We're always worried, does this translate into an increased risk of breast cancer in women who take spironolactone? And there were two huge studies, one in 2012 and one in 2013, that were published that look at big, you know, basically databases, and they try to link together breast cancer risk and spironolactone prescriptions. And both of those studies found that there was no increased risk. And so I think you know the, the potassium news is good, the breast cancer news is good, we can keep using our spironolactone and feeling good about it.